Hey everybody, thanks for tuning back into OTRAM's uh, YouTube video channel. Today we're doing a, a Safari snorkel on a 200 series Land Cruiser with the uh, 5.7 V8. So before I started filming, we uh, cleaned the whole fender down with uh, glass cleaner to make sure there was no grit, that we weren't gonna scratch the fender with the uh, template. We've got the template lined up with the top edge and the back edge of the door and taped on with some painter's tape. And we've already gone ahead and paint markered all of our holes onto the fender. And we've also traced out this notch that we're gonna have to trim out with a body saw um, to make the hole oval shaped. So now all the holes are marked. So we can go ahead and take our template off. Now you can see a little bit better with our holes. Now we can come back and lightly center punch all of them. There we go. And I'm going to start out with an eighth inch pilot bit. We'll go ahead and pilot all of these. Then I'm going to switch to a quarter inch bit to enlarge all those before we go to a step bit. And before we started, we went ahead and pulled the uh, inner fender liner out to give us access to the back side. Um, we already had the wheel off because we're doing air lockers in this one as well. And now for all of our bolt holes, we can go to using a step bit. This will give us a cleaner uh, hole with fewer burrs and it's not gonna catch like the drill bit did. And we want a 5 8 hole. And you can see where I've marked the next step up with blue paint pen all the way around. That way we know when we're getting close to being drilled out the 5 8 go there's all our 5 8 holes 
And then we're gonna move up to a four and a half inch hole saw to do the majority of the actual snorkel hole. And then we're going to have to use an air saw to cut this little half moon shape. And I'm going to go ahead and use it to cut this little flange that's left just because I don't want it to catch and warp the fender. So let me fire up the air compressor real quick and let it charge up and then I'll bring you back for the actual cutting. Okay, the air compressor's all charged up so we can finish our trimming. So take the air saw. And we'll finish cutting that little nub out. And then we're gonna cut this half moon to make this an oval. Okay, now that we've got our holes cut, we can go ahead and take our deeper arm. Now we're deburred. I can go ahead and mix up some black paint, do some touch up on here, 
That way it doesn't rust. And once the paint dries, while we're waiting for the paint on the fender holes to dry, we can go ahead and start prepping the snorkel side. So we've got to put studs in each of these brass inserts. So we're going to take a stud, put a drip of Loctite on it, and then thread it in there finger tight. And same with the last one. And then we're going to take the A-pillar bracket here and just loosely bolt it on, except I just dropped my bolts to it. There we go. You can loosely, light, loosely stick that on there. That way, when we put this up to test fit it, we can go ahead and mark the holes for where we need to drill these as well. We'll put some uh, masking tape up on the A-pillar to prep that so we can draw on it. So, okay, this side's good. We've got to glue this insert ring in, which I've got to go run next door and grab some uh, windshield urethane. You guys can't see that. We need to glue this big rubber gasket in and then stick the big gasket, which we've got over here. Go ahead and stick this guy on. We'll peel a little bit of the masking back. Get that somewhat centered on there. Peel a little bit more masking back. That all work down. And peel the rest of the masking out. And our foam gasket's on. So let me run next door, glue this on. And hopefully by the time I get back, the fender will be dry and we can start test fitting the snorkel to the truck. So the paint's all dry. We've got the uh, snorkel just loosely bolted onto the fender. And we've got masking tape up here on the A-pillar. We're going to come in here and you probably aren't going to be able to see it on the camera. But we're going to draw an outline. of where this bracket lands. There we go. And now we can reach back in here and undo the two bolts that we have holding the snorkel on. Pull it back off. And we'll take the bracket off the back of the snorkel, line it back up here where we had our tape marks, and mark the three holes in here, and then we just need to double check the distance in from the edge of the fender, let me go grab my calipers, and my head was probably just in the way of doing that but it's on just like that. And we traced out those three holes. And those look to be about right, according to the instructions. 
we want to be about 20 millimeters in from the edge of the A pillar, which these are. So we go ahead and center punch and drill those to 5 sixteenths. Here we got our center punch. We'll go ahead and pilot those to eighth inch. And on these, we can't use a step bit because it's too shallow to the interior. And then we'll take 5 16 bit. Get those enlarged. And because these holes are kind of small, we're not really going to be able to use the deburring tool we used before, so we're going to use a deburring bit. And we'll take the tape off, paint these, and then we can go back to assembling. Okay, so we've given the clear paint we put on there, we just put a little clear coat on there to seal them up. That's had time to dry. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of black. It's just Toyota oil pan sealer. Around those holes, just for a little bit of extra protection. And then we'll take these push-in anchors that ARB supplies. And we'll just stick those in their holes. Yeah, just like that. Let me wipe my fingers off. Now that we've got the little plastic inserts in, we can put the uh, rubber gasket here on the back of the bracket and the three sheet metal screws. And screw those into the inserts we just put in. And it's easiest if you start all three before you actually tighten them down. That way you're not fighting a tight one. Now we can go ahead and set the snorkel back on. That. Let me 
stick the 10 millimeter bolts in here. We'll get that one just started and then we'll go and we'll put the rest of them behind the fender liner down here on the snorkel body. It gets a rubber washer and then a big fender washer and then a nut. So we'll put all those in and snug them up and then we'll move to the engine side. So now we get to move up into the engine compartment. We've already taken the air filter housing out. Uh, Crash was feeling industrious and did it before I uh, started filming. We just need to take this fender bracket, old air filter snorkel piece out. And then we can start looking at what we need to do to get our filter to fit. So we need to get this big molded hose to fit onto this outlet. I'm gonna put you off the side for a minute and I'm gonna get the heat gun out and warm this up and see what we can do to make this fit together. So let me warm that up and I'll be back. Okay, after warming up the ARB rubber boot with the heat gun, it'll, it'll expand enough to slip over the US housing. Um, I forgot to point out before, there's a mold line on the housing right here. You mark 18 millimeters up from that, and then the mold line from your hose lines up with that. Um, went ahead and put this on, let it cool down, uh, test fit it. It does fit to the snorkel, so that orientation will work. Uh, the clamp that came with the hose isn't big enough to go around the US shaped housing, so I'm gonna have to run and get a larger clamp. Uh, but we'll do that, and then uh, probably tomorrow morning we'll come back and finish this up. Well, we lucked out, and the guys next door had a bigger hose clamp that we could steal. So we can get this clamped on, and we've got the hose clamp that goes to the snorkel body on here just loosely. Um, pointed in a way that we're going to be able to get a screwdriver on it once we fish this in. So we'll just feed this down through the hole. And crash is underneath it there. Wave to the camera crash. <laughs> and he's got us lining up on the snorkel body. Do we need to spin? I think I'm good. Huh? That's good down here, I think. You can do whatever you need to do. Okay. Grab me the uh, something with a 10 on it. Um, something better with a 10 on it. How about something with an extension?
Okay, it ended up taking some heat gun action on that rubber hose in order to get the air box to sit back in here right, but we heat gunned it, got it bent a little bit, got the air box mounted back in, uh, hose clamps tightened on the snorkel side, we put some silicone on the drain hole in the air box so that sealed up. So now we can go ahead and stick our filter back in. There we go. And the top half of our housing. helps if you don't latch it on the hooks in the back. We plug our mass airflow sensor back in, clip our wire, and just tighten this clamp up real quick. And we've got a snorkel. Uh, lower the hood down. Re-aim you a little bit. Actually, you're in pretty good there. And we can go ahead and Stick our top hat on. And there we go. Uh, we just have to put the uh, inner wheel liner and mud flat back in, and we'll be all set. Thanks for tuning in to. Uh, Another how-to with OTRAM. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe below, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.